In early October, the fighting group governing Gaza, Hamas, struck out at Israel, catching Israel's military completely off guard. Some of the weapons Hamas used were old, but many were new and not seen before. So too were the tactics used by Hamas fighters. First up was a barrage by Qasem rockets, a well-known weapon seen many times before. They're extremely basic, with a maximum range of 20 kilometers and equipped with a tiny warhead. Fired in salvos, they might look intimidating, but are the 21st century equivalent of bows and arrows. Some 5,000 rockets were fired, swamping Israel's Iron Dome system, and as a result, many got through, inflicting more damage than in previous conflicts. It's likely this barrage was used as a diversionary tactic and cover for more offensive operations by Hamas. Some of the stronger images from that day were of Hamas paragliders flying over the border, assaulting Israeli military posts and targeting nearby towns. While slow moving, they had the element of surprise as they had rarely been used in conflicts this way. Each able to carry two people with an engine in the rear, they were effective and allowed Hamas troops to go on the offensive without having to breach the formidable land barriers below. Why were they not detected? Again, new weapons came into play and new offensive tactics. And what does anybody first try to do to one's enemy? Blind them. Quadcopter drones carrying munitions were deployed, as Ukraine has effectively used against Russia. These attack the surveillance towers that surround the Gaza enclave. The explosions were small, but very effective at blinding Israeli security as to what was happening. They're seen here dropping munitions on target. More drones were used, this time against Israeli tanks and armored vehicles. Several Merkava tanks were destroyed, again highly unusual, especially as the latest Merkavas have an anti-drone protection system built in. Al-Zawahri drones were also used. Normally designed for reconnaissance, they were fitted with a warhead and guided into their targets. Again, drones have been used this way in the war in Ukraine. Their success is broadcast on social media for all to see and learn from. Hamas has never used offensive tactics like this before, and the preparation and execution of these attacks caught Israel completely by surprise. And surprise is the key element here. Surprise to overwhelm an adversary misdirection to confuse him, blinding the enemy so he doesn't know your intentions, and then do the unexpected, attack. These are key elements in any successful assault, leveraging weapons that are particularly powerful in themselves, but when put together, form a potent military package. Hamas's offensive capabilities are likely expended and will now be on the defensive as Israel's military besieges and assaults the Gaza enclave. Hamas will then have to rely on small unit urban tactics, bombs, mortars, the shoulder-launched anti-tank weapons against one of the most sophisticated militaries on Earth. Surprise only works once.